Yo, what's good? This is your main correspondent, Alan Taylor, and I'm back in the broadcast room yet again, always with another one. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, uh, real talk, you know, uh, Oh, uh, P. Diddy, you know, saying, uh, man, he, this is this is getting wild here. All we're doing now is we're waiting. We're sitting back. We're trying to we got the popcorn in the back. <laughs> we're waiting for the bullshit to unfold. So what the first person is going to think about? We're waiting to see. We're waiting to see. Now, you know, and, and uh, I'm not I'm not trying to you know sit here and just be you know uh all condemning and things like that you know <laughs> i want everybody to you know have their day in court things like that you know innocent until proven guilty for real though that's a very serious situation you know everybody deserves that but the thing of it is is that you know uh yeah you know we're out here now we're trying to figure out what's going on. Things are popping up slowly but surely. So, you know, what's happening now is, is that we have this report here. And, uh, yeah. So, of course, you know, Diddy has been seeing things like that around. He's, uh, you know, seen out with his twin daughters and things. And, uh, yeah, we, we're going to hear from this particular news report right here. And we're going to see what's going on. Uh, yes, it's always quarters, nickels, and dimes. That's going in on the times. Let's go. We begin right now with exclusive information on the latest in the Diddy investigation. I have learned from sources that investigators have found several weapons inside his homes. Several. They also have found videos. It's been reported that Diddy has collected images of people in compromising situations at his residences. TMZ now obtained this video uh, inside his home in Los Angeles after the raid by federal agents. It's reported that Diddy is the target of a sex trafficking investigation that comes after he was hit with a wave of civil lawsuits alleging sexual assault and trafficking. I've also learned exclusively that Diddy is in Miami. Authorities know exactly where he is. They've been in touch with his legal team. Sources tell me he's trying to avoid the paparazzi and they're telling me he will not be arrested soon. So, okay. Okay. Here we go. So the authorities have released the information that they would not be arresting P. Diddy anytime soon. Okay. You know, I'm just saying it is what it is out here. But from what the, from what she just said, like they have found uh, footage on, you know, uh, these the electronic devices and things like that, that, you know, he has uh, footage of people in compromising situations, things like that. They didn't say whether or not he had footage on himself in any compromising situations with any minors or anybody or doing anything egregious and things like that they didn't say that yet so you know i mean you know I, that's why i said yet i mean you know kind of is what it is <laughs> but the thing of it here is you know it's it's a lot that's hitting the fan you know we also know that 50 cent uh child's mother was engaged with uh you know p diddy on a lot of things and stuff like that she was out there selling a little peace leaf and uh you know so what the French toast is going to think about. Uh, Fifty Cent is out here in an uproar. You know it's crazy. Uh, also, uh, low key. You know it's it's man. It's just getting wild out here. It's getting wild out here. Uh, so yes, the thing of it is, he's he's not getting arrested anytime soon. Uh, he's they're they're running through the footage. So they're trying to figure things out. They're, they're piecing this investigation together. They're wondering what's going on, but they're they're slowly but surely trying to show everybody. So, you know, let's keep going. Let's check this out. Former NYPD detective Derek Parker, known as the hip hop cop, 
is joining me now with his thoughts on how this plays out. First, nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. So you know, you know Diddy, right? Yes. In what way? Uh, back in the 90s, uh, I was assigned to the NYPD. I was the, the hip hop cop back then. So I had to assist in arresting him in several uh, instances where there were some crimes committed. What were those arrests for? Uh, one was the Club New York shooting. Uh, with uh, he was with JLo at the time, and the other one was the Steve Stout uh, assault that happened with MTV. Right. Okay. So I have some exclusive information which you just heard. The fact, uh, if it's true, that they found a lot of weapons at his homes, what do you think this could mean? Well, what happens here is that the feds, the federal government, started a case with him. Apparently, the search warrant that had his house was in Miami and LA. Okay, but before we go any further. Um, at this point right now, uh, Diddy is not a felon, so he can have weapons. He can have firearms and things like that. And what the French coach is going to think about? At this point, you know what I'm saying? He's not a felon. So, yeah, he can have firearms. So let's go. It was pre-planned already. They knew they were going to do that. So they have a much bigger case. Um, right now with the guns, they're going to check them. They're going to trace them, see if they were used in any crimes. Uh, they're going to go over um, anything about uh, the cooperators that are cooperating with them. They're going to be talking to a lot of people mm -hmm. about ce certain criminal acts that he might have committed and then go from there. And what about the videos? Well, they're going to sift through those videos. They're going to look at them and then see if there's any criminality on those videos and then they'll, they'll go from there. So what do you think? I mean, it just seems like the House of Cards might fall for Diddy right now. It's not looking that great. Uh, right now, I know that uh, his, he has higher powered attorneys. And right. uh, with all these allegations that are coming out against him and against other people, a lot of people are starting to be very nervous about what's going on. When, when you arrested Diddy uh, back in the day, mm -hmm. um, what kind of interaction did you have with him? More professional. I mean, he knew who I was. I knew who he was. <laughs> and uh, whenever he got into trouble, it was like I was like his, his detective. So, yeah. you know, I always had to come to the precinct of, of whatever happened and then to deal with him to, to make sure that everything was good with the detectives there and then everything else going on um we should mention that diddy has denied any wrongdoing uh, right. as of right now he's saying he had nothing to do with anything so right, right now it's just an investigation right but it seems like all of this came to light after his ex-girlfriend cassie alleged that she was in a very you know, abusive relationship with him that now, I always wondered about that Cassie thing. Like, did she go to him first behind closed doors and, and you know, come at him like, well, listen, look, you know, I'm broke, you know. <laughs> uh, if you don't, you know, supply me, and it, this was years after now, this was, you know, she hadn't fooled with Diddy at this point, you know, well over 10 years, you know, or more. So she came back and was like, listen, look, uh, I met this. I'm in this dire straits. And if you don't supply me with the funds that I'm asking you for, I'm going to go public. So, you know, that's what I'm thinking. It went down. That's how I'm thinking it went down. That's really how I'm thinking it went down. Because, in, and then at the same time, though, too, you know, saying Puff was probably, you know, as arrogant as he is. We already know. <laughs> we already know Puff arrogant as hell. Let's just keep this real. He probably was, you know, he probably shooed her off. It's like, you know, what do you mean? You know, you had your fun, things like that. We had our fun years ago, stuff like that. What do you, you know, like, what, what are you talking about? What you, so what's the French coast is there to think about? What is there to think about? That's probably how Puff was, you know what I'm saying? Because he was sitting out here like this. You know what? You don't pay a hoe to fuck you. You pay her to leave. <laughs> and that's that's how Puff probably was, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, you don't pay a hoe to fuck you, you pay her to leave. And uh, yeah, so he probably sideways and things like that. And you know what I'm saying? She decided to go ahead on and, and get legal action involved which opened up a whole can of worms and i'm thinking that's how that really went down you know let's just keep this honest out here so yeah 
and accelerated things. I mean, his, his settlement with her and all the criminal acts that she alleged have happened. Right. And then other people started coming forward. So it's like a house of cards. Yeah. And I think there are several people right now that are alleging that they um, were in allegedly compromising positions at Diddy's house. Yes. Being forced to do things that they didn't want to do. There are a lot of things that are coming out right now. And what's going to happen yeah. is that the government's going to go through all of these things that they have uncovered. And they're going to see if there's any criminality. If any charges are to be brought, they will bring them later. So let's talk about this because I'm not like into the weeds of all this. Okay. But apparently TMZ is reporting that Suge Knight, who's in pr prison right now, right? And he's... A, he, he's in prison. Yes, he's in jail. For... For he ran over an uh, uh, individual in Los Angeles and he committed a homicide. Okay. So TMZ is reporting that Suge Knight has said to Diddy right now, your life is in danger. Yes. Okay, well, he's probably... Now, hold on here. Hold on. <laughs> Let's just go here now. You know, for those of us that are old enough to remember... You know, <laughs> back in the mid 90s, Suge Knight and Puffy, you know, I still call him Puffy, you know, screw all that. I still call him Puffy. You know, the, the, I grew up with Puffy, you know, all this Diddy shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can call him Diddy all you want to. That's fine. Y'all can call him Diddy all you want to. I still call him Puffy. You know, what I'm listen, look. Uh, yeah, when he had that feud uh, with Biggie, Pac, the, the Source Magazine, all this stuff was going on back in the day like that. You know, yeah, uh, Suge Knight and uh, Puffy had that feud and stuff like that. So now that uh, Suge Knight is reaching out to Puffy and telling Puffy that, you know, your life is in danger. Uh, listen, look, man, this, this is... Uh, a, a change of events. It's a very big change of events. <laughs> why would Suge Knight, why would Suge Knight, who used to be the enemy of Puffy, reaching out, telling Puffy that your life is in danger? And what the French toast is there to think about? I mean, that's a, that's an undertone with it, too. Now, you know, I'm not trying to uh, escape people from you know, maybe something that they was into because we don't really know now. We don't really know anything. These are uh, charges, well, not even charges yet because Puffy hadn't even been uh, charged with anything. You know, I'm just being honest out here. <laughs> so we're sitting around here, you know, uh, waiting for a lot of things to unfold. They just raided his, uh, you know, they just raided a lot of his compounds uh, this this previous week. Allegedly that they're going through things, they're going through certain technology and, and trying to gain footage to see what's going on. So, you know, yeah, it's up in the wind right now. This is all a, a mystical situation, seems like. Seems like, you know, but I stand firm on that you're innocent until proven guilty. That's the that's the code that we supposed to live by here in America. You're innocent until proven guilty. And, you know, I get it. It looks very grim, but that is the code that we live by. And I I, I would like to keep living by that code for everybody on the, you know, over here in America. Real talk for everybody. <laughs> Let's keep going. He's saying I can't speak for what he's saying yeah. because of everything that's going on right now. There's probably a lot of people that are upset about what's going on. And then, you know, it, even yesterday, I started seeing things on online where people are starting to make threats towards uh, 50 and, D and Diddy is starting to go back. And this is how it starts in hip hop. It starts right on social media and then it goes into the streets. It does. I, you know, you don't hear about that too much. I mean, back in the day, yes. Right? There was a lot of that. Back in the days, you had disc records where people right. would just do disc records, and one rapper would talk about the other rapper. Now they go to clubs and places, and this is where they meet, and then there's always collateral damage. Okay, so there's also been talk. Um, I didn't realize, like, they Okay. With that 50 situation, uh, 
come to find out, you know, well, not come to find out, uh, allegedly that 50, um, that 50 situation, you know what I'm saying? His, his, his child's, uh, mother was engaging with, uh, Puffy on a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? She was out there, uh, selling peace leaf, like, uh, you know, I mean, you know, she was out there selling peace leaf. Hold on. Uh, I may have the screenshot of this situation. So let's go here and let's see this. The screenshot right there. You know what I'm saying? So 50, uh, child's mother allegedly was out there, you know, with Puffy doing uh dirt with puffy just like the 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 young miami chick i think that's her name the, the, whoever she is i mean i'm just saying here you know we've gotten a, we've gotten a lot of reports in you know what i'm saying especially the, you know y'all remember the young chick that he uh sat and had the interview with and uh she talked about she liked to get peed on by puffy <laughs> you know allegedly you know saying uh she was bringing in all types of uh illegal uh narcotics for a puppy and things like that but you know uh yeah that's neither here nor there you know at this point you know they, they also have the mule that were well, the alleged mule the, the little white boy that got you know hemmed up <laughs> but but we're gonna go into that we're going to go into that at a uh, later date on a deeper uh, level. But, yeah, let's keep going here. So it seems like, yeah, 50 Cent has some type of beef with Puffy. And uh, not necessarily with Puffy, but also with his uh, child's mother for dealing with that type of situation. That's why he's trying to get custody of his child from that woman. So, I mean, you know, it kind of is what it is here. Let's keep going. It was this Camp Diddy. We're hearing that Usher, when he was a young man just starting in the business, he went to Diddy's house for an extended period of time. Even Justin Bieber was brought there. I think he was 15 years old. And now we're kind of looking at their interviews that they gave years ago about being... Oh, my God. Listen, look, man. Wow. <laughs> and I'm, so, I'm sorry for keeping... Uh, I'm sorry for chopping it up, but it's... You bringing up people... She bringing up Usher. She bringing up Justin Beaver. She, man, what? So what the French toast is going to think about? Wow. Listen, look, these are a lot of superstar names that are being thrown around around here in this investigation. A lot of careers are on the line here. You know, let's just keep this honest. A lot of people's careers are on the line here. I mean, man, if y'all don't pay attention to what's being said, the names that are being injected into these situations, Cuba Gooding Jr., uh, she just mentioned uh, Usher and Justin Beaver. It's, it's, man, stop it. A lot of people's careers are on the line with this with this investigation here. A lot of people's careers are on the line. Being at Diddy's house and what transpired, we're looking at it differently. Well, they are because they were young, uh, young men at the time. So with all the sex trafficking allegations that are out right now, this is what everybody's looking at. They're looking at the past and the present. So we're hearing that uh, Diddy is not gonna be arrested anytime soon. What do you think is going on in the meantime? Well, the government is building their case. Apparently what they're doing is they're going through all the witnesses or cooperators that they have, uh, all the evidence that they uncovered, and they're going to see if there's any charges that are going to be brought up. But you'll see something happening very soon. This now, is not over. I was about to say, and the Southern District of New York? And that's one of the most pre prestigious uh, districts. I just testified in the Eastern District about a month ago. So right. I know. So you know these guys don't fool around? No, they don't fool around at all. Uh, Tarek Parker, 
Thank you so much for being here. The Hip Hop Cop Thank weighing you. in this morning on the Diddy investigation. Yo. Yo. Uh, of course, this is a very serious, uh, serious situation here. Um, of course, I already know that, uh, you know, Puff got the money. So he got the he got the lawyers that he need to have. But the thing of it is, is that after this raid, you know, of course, on face value, everything looks bad to have your house raided or your homes raided. You know, uh, L.A., Miami, New York. Yeah, he's, you know, a New York property was raided as well. Uh, to have your properties raided and things like that, that looks bad on face value, period, for a public, you know, uh, opinion. And uh, that's, that's what you're fighting. In the 21st century, regardless of who you are, if you get into the public opinion, especially with social media and things like that, you know, uh, it seems that you actually are going to be guilty until proven innocent. That's that's kind of how that goes. Oh, that's, the that think about. that's how that goes in, in in this new age. Regardless of what the the laws are on our books, that you technically are supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, but you know, due to public opinion, you know, and so many mass of people uh, commentating and giving their opinions and things like that. <laughs> You know, nowadays it seems like that you're guilty until proven innocent. You know, it just is what it is out here. Yo. But, yeah, as this mystery unfolds, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, the, the, what was that, uh, the mystery, uh, Scooby doing shit, you know. <laughs> You know, as we wait till this mystery unfolds, you know, it kind of is what it is, man. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to sit back and uh, peep this out, you know, regardless of who's saying what, things like that. Even, you know, uh, from what I've seen and gathered, you know, bodyguards and and everybody's talking, everybody's talking, everybody running their mouth. But where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? So what the French toast is there to think about? Where is the evidence? But it is what it is, though, man. Hey, shout out to all my subscribers out there. Mad love to y'all. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell that you'll be notified whenever I decide to post things. And like I always say, and that, my friends, is the bottom line. That, my friends, is the bottom line. Mad love to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Please comment. My link to my ex, TikTok, and my email are down below. And always show the bottom line news some love. And like I always say. And that, my friends, is the bottom line. That, my friends, is the bottom line. Who is responsible for all these hoes in the street? You? <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this shit. We'll talk about that some other time. No, I want to talk about it now. See, Fred, another reason Fred, why I... I said we'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> you don't tell me what I talk about. <laughs> you don't tell me what I talk about in my own house. <laughs>
Don't you point your finger at my nose, Fred Sanford. I'll point my finger at your nose and I'll point my foot somewhere else. Man. You can act like a man. What's the matter with you? 